What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now today we have a little bit more positive Detroit Lions news as the Detroit Lions have officially claimed Dalen Mack off waivers from the Baltimore Ravens. Now before we do get into talking about Dalen Mack and what he could bring to the Detroit Lions, first you know I know this news is kind of late it came out last night but I didn't want to just come on and talk about it and not know what I was talking about so you know I had to do research I had to look at his stats I wanted to watch a little bit a little bit of film from him and see what he could bring to Detroit so that's why it's a little late but with that being said let's get in and talk about Dale and Mack and what he brings to Detroit <laughs> Dalen Mack is a former fifth round pick out of Texas A&M as he was selected at the 160th overall sp at the 160th overall spot in the 2019 NFL Draft by the Baltimore Ravens. Now last year in his rookie season, he did only play in one game as he had, you know, some injuries that ended his season. He played in nine defensive snaps for the Ravens and one special team snap. Now this now dating back to college, this guy, you know, he was pretty solid. In college, he played all four years at Texas A&M. He stands at 6'1" 340 pounds which officially makes him the heaviest player on the Detroit Lions according to the Detroit Lions website. Now in his collegiate career Dalen Mack played in 47 games for the Texas A&M Aggies, had 100 and 108 total tackles, 27 tackles for loss, 8 sacks, and 2 forced fumbles. Now in 2018, his senior season with Texas A&M, he played in 13 games, had 32 total tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and 5 and a half sacks. So, you know, a pretty solid collegiate career, you know. I wouldn't quite say he lived up to expectations as when he came out of high school, he was a five-star recruit and, you know, committed to Texas A&M, obviously. I don't know if he quite lived up to that five-star hype, but he was a very productive and good player in college and was a key part of the defense, uh, or it was a key part of Texas A&M's defensive line for four years. Obviously, as many Detroit Lions fans know, we just lost a defensive lineman as John Adkins officially opted out for the 2020 NFL season. So we basically just brought in his replacement. We brought in a guy that can, you know, come in and and play that defensive line, fill in a spot that we have a la or that we have a hole at, and I think that he's going to come in and compete for a starting spot. I know that he just got cut. You know, he's a former fifth round pick. You know, uh, you know, if you think fifth round pick, they're not very good usually, but you know. There are a lot of fifth round picks in the NFL that have turned out very, very well. And I'm not going to write a guy off because he had one injured season in his rookie year. He hasn't even had a chance to show what he can do in the NFL, which, you know, makes me worry or makes me confused about why the Ravens would cut him after spending a fifth round pick on him. But, you know, they're lost. We got him. And, you know, I'm excited to see what he can do in the NFL and especially in Detroit. Now, when Dalen was coming out of Texas A&M, when he was a prospect for the NFL draft, the NFL.com gave him a 5.9 overall rate or a draft prospect rating which roughly equates to a backup slash special teams guy and was projected to go in the fourth round so the Ravens technically got a steal as they got him in the fifth round and now he is a Detroit Lion now looking at his pros and cons you know he he was a very good player at Texas A&M the first thing I noticed is he's very very powerful he gets a lot of push immediately and I think that has to do a lot with his size and weight you know he, as I said he's 6'1 340 pounds so he's a big guy and he uses his weight very well and produces a lot of power a lot of explosion off the snap and that's something I really like to see now he's a very very athletic player I mean he as I said is very strong very explosive in the legs but in high school he played running back sometimes like I, I'll see if I can find the clip but there was a clip of him at 300 plus pounds running the football and he was pulling away from guys like this guy is a freakish athlete for his size and you know size and weight and you know it's never a bad thing to add athletes to your team because you know you can always teach them the fundamentals but you can't teach a guy to be 6'1 340 and run away from people like you just can't do that he's very quick at his size is another thing that i noticed like right off the snap he's very very quick and agile for a guy that is 340 pounds which is something i really like about him and then he he's a great run stopper you know he kind of reminds me of snacks in that way that like you know he he can get off blocks very easily on the defensive line and you know tackle the running back for a loss or tackle them for no gate at the line of scrimmage you know he does not give up a lot of ground on the run games and he is very good at stuffing the run which is something we know the Detroit Lions like to bring in defensive tackles that can stuff the run we brought in Snacks Harris so we brought in Mike Daniels to do that we brought in Danny Shelton this offseason to do that we drafted John Penasini to do that the Detroit Lions love guys that can stuff the run in the middle and that is that is Dalen Strong suit that is exactly what he is good at and you know 
that's the reason we picked him up is so that he can compete for that backup role of a run stopping defensive tackle and then the last thing that i wanted to say that i really liked about him is his high motor and this is a thing that i think the detroit lions love i think every nfl team loves guys with high motors this guy plays to the whistle every single time you know he's relentless he's gonna push he's gonna try his very very hardest to get to the quarterback or to get to the running back on every single play and his motor is super high which is something you always love to see you don't want to see guys that give up on plays you don't want to see guys that stop halfway through the snap halfway through the play and just give up on it you know you want to see guys that play through the whistle the guys that you know are going to chase the running back down even if the running back passed him you know he's going to be running on the field trying to get there just in case that you know he gets the, just in case the running back gets slowed up he can make the tackle like that's his mindset and that's something i love out of nfl players especially in daily and Mac. Now, with all those pros, you know, he, you know, he sounds like a very good player, right? But obviously being drafted in the fifth round, he has quite a few flaws as well. And the biggest one I noticed is he's not a great pass rusher. This guy is not going to get to the quarterback a lot. He only had eight sacks in his col in his collegiate career. Five of those did come in his senior season, but before that, you know, I, he only had three sacks in the first three years of college football. And, and, you know, he just wasn't a phenomenal pass rush he can do it occasionally like if you put him out there every single play he's gonna get a sack eventually but you know his pass rushing is not his strong suit he's not super good at it and he doesn't have a lot of pass rush moves to you know to he does and i think part of that is he does not have a lot of pass rush moves to use you know he's not a technician this guy's not a technician he's not a guy like everson griffin that has a ton of different moves he could swim he can swipe he can go around you he can go through you like this guy doesn't have a lot of pass rush moves and i think that is a big reason for his lack in pass rush success you know as i said he can do it he showed it in texas a m he can do it occasionally but you know you're not gonna put him out there to be a pass rusher you're not gonna put him out there on third and 15 to go get the quarterback you're gonna put him out there when you need somebody to stuff the run when you need somebody to hold the running back to a one zero or even a negative gain like you're gonna put him out there for that situation because that's where he thrives and that is his strong suit however just because he can't rush the passer doesn't mean he doesn't have value you know all the things we just listed his high motor his power in his lower legs you know his size his speed you know his quickness like he, he's a great athlete and the Detroit Lions necessarily don't don't necessarily want a defensive tackle that rushes the passer you know as I mentioned I compared him to guys like Snacks and Mike Daniels and Danny Shelton like none of those guys are elite pass rushers none of those guys have ever been elite pass rushers they've always been good at stopping the run getting penetration in the backfield on run plays and stopping the running back for a minimal game and that's what the Detroit Lions like in their defensive tackles and that's what he brings to Detroit so you know I think with John Atkins opting out I think he's going to be competing with guys like John Penicini, Jay Sean Cornell um, you know Kevin Strong all these backup defensive tackles that you know he's going to be competing with them he's going to be right there in the mix even though he's late to training camp even though he's late to the team and all these guys have been here a little longer he's going to compete and he's going to fight for a spot and I definitely think he has the talent to make it on this roster and I would not be surprised if he makes the roster and even has a small role in the 2020 season for the Detroit Lions now with that being said that is my opinion on us picking up Dalen Mack. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys like the pickup? Do you guys think we should have used it on somebody else? Let me know that down in the comments below. But, you know, as I said, I apologize for being late, but I didn't want to just come on here and say, you know, we signed Dalen Mack and then end the video. I wanted to have something to talk about. I wanted to have opinions. I wanted to have, you know, something I believed when I was speaking because then it's more genuine and then, you know, you actually get a full opinion opposed to, you know, we signed Dalen Mack, cool. Like, I mean, I just wanted to do a little bit more research and it took a little bit more time than expected. So I apologize for that. But with that being said, that is my opinion on Dalen Mack. I think it was a solid pickup and I think he will be competing for a roster spot very, very soon. But with that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said at the beginning, if you are new to the channel and are enjoying the content, consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. It takes two seconds out of your day to make mine and I would be very, very appreciative to everybody that chooses to do so. And while you're at it, go into the link down in the description and subscribe to my check-in, subscribe to my my second channel as i put out daily highlight videos of nfl teams and players so that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see all of you in the video tomorrow bye guys